Hello everybody. Um, today uh, we're going to do a new smoke. And this time it's going to be on the pellet grill and uh, we've already got it going and my wife is doing one of her gigantic uh, six pound meatloafs and uh, in addition we threw in some peppers filled with uh, mozzarella cheese, a baked potato and there's some plain ordinary poblanos that will roast along with uh, the cook. So uh, here it is, it, this is our Yoder, 480. Here is the, uh, the meatloaf uh, on the upper shelf and I punched holes in that tin foil on the bottom just so that the juices will uh, begin to flow out through the bottom of the pan. Below I have the um, uh, vegetables I was just talking about and there's a baked potato uh, crunched into the corner over here and we're running at uh, we set it for uh, 250 degrees and uh, right now uh, we're she's pushing around 260 so uh, that's good she'll probably pop up big after I close the lid all right we'll catch we catch you later bye bye okay well, my wife just took out the uh, roasted peppers put some butter on them just to give them a little more flavor and uh, they look like they're pretty well done a couple of them are filled with a nice uh, mozzarella cheese mixture and the others are plain just to keep the uh, uh, the flavor of the roasted pepper intact so we don't lose that so we're moving along I just upped the temperature to 275 internal temperature is 136 and the meatloaf is moving along see you later I think we got a storm moving in on us over here. Flags are straight out. If it starts raining, I'm still going to let that thing go. I got the uh, cord uh, set up underneath the uh, on the shelf of the unit so that if, in case we have a lot of rainwater, the plug itself won't be sitting in the water. But if you want to look at that sky, it's awful dark up there, and uh, it looks like we're going to get a nice little uh, storm coming in, but. Right now we've gone through uh, quite a bit of drought. We had a little rain yesterday for the first time in over a month. So uh, I hope it. I hope we can uh, make this thing happen because uh, it's uh, it's got a big uh, big <laughs> big hit on us with a little wet weather. Here's where we are right now. I still got that potato in here, and I just popped the temperature to. Uh, 275 and uh, it's moving along. All right, here's the finished product. I just took out a piece and uh, you, it's, you can just see that layer of spinach and uh, mozzarella my wife put in this. So, and here it is over here, plated, and uh, we're gonna serve it with these, uh, the onion and the peppers with filled with cheese. And this is our dinner plate tonight. And I think it came out pretty good, so uh, uh, this is it. This is the end of the cook. Hi, everybody. How are you? Um, wrapping up the cook tonight. We're tired out. <laughs> I'm always tired out. Um, just want to finish up and explain a few things about this cook. Uh, it was a seven and a half hour cook. Uh, we started out at 250 degrees at around five o'clock this evening. I pushed it to uh, 275 and at uh, 6 o'clock I pushed it to 275 because I was wondering when it was going to finish and it did hit 160 degrees at which time I pulled it out of the pellet smoker and at that time you know we had it going at 300 degrees for about an hour and a half and that really just pushed it over the end and I'm glad I did it because uh, it did leave a nice little crust on the top surface and I like that as part of the meatloaf. Uh, the meatloaf itself, um, is, she put in all kinds of wonderful things. We did chop up about three or four poblano peppers, uh, a couple of big onions, um, a couple of jalapenos, some Fresno peppers went in there. Um, she puts in all of her uh, favorite spices, including she added brown sugar this time. She used our basic rub spice as well, which also has brown sugar. She used teriyaki marinade. Uh, she used uh, Worcestershire sauce. Uh, all kinds of interesting things that she did this time she didn't do the last time. Uh, she also put in two big heaping tablespoons of cayenne. And let me tell you, after we tasted it, it really was good. It really was very, very good. Um, 
it was nice and moist. It, it uh, wasn't overdone at 160 degrees. It was just right. Uh, we, uh, we did, uh, I used an aluminum pan uh, to uh, fit this all in. And then what she does is she, she makes a crevice in the meatloaf itself and then she buries in a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, uh, spinach where she used both uh, frozen spinach and also uh, fresh leaf spinach and then she covers it all over with one pound, one pound I mind you of mozzarella cheese and she threw in a whole bunch of wow spices and we actually threw a whole bunch of wow spices right into the center of the meatloaf. And this girl, uh, when she mixes up meatloaf, she does it all by hand. So it's all fingers and toes, if you will, mixing all this thing up. And it's really good. And, uh, and it really came out great. So uh, after dinner, uh, uh, we uh, uh, sliced it in half and I froze half of it. Uh, we took a big section for meals for the next couple of days for us. Uh, we also have uh, care packages going to uh, folks that have requested our meatloaf because they enjoy it. So we're going to give those away wrapped in tin foil. So everybody seems to be happy. Um, just saying that, uh, you know, you might want to uh, give it a shot because we use not only uh, 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 the, the uh, Savor Spices Wow, we also threw in uh, uh, Savor Spices uh, Super Pig and... Uh, it was really good, and uh, I recommend them. They're they're very versatile, and uh, they add a lot of uh, uh, pizzazz to food. And that's it. I was going to throw in some of this hot chili oil, but she uh, she reneged on that one. She says I can put it on afterwards, but uh, this way it's real good. So uh, give it a try. It's not a bad recipe. Uh, you can modify it in any way you want. You can. Add more heat, you can reduce the heat. You can put more flavor. You, you take your own experience and add it to it. It's going to come out real good. Okay, guys, you have a nice evening. Take care, and have may all your cooks be happy ones.